Active Safety Application, which is also called the Drug Safety Database. Uh, so basically, this course is going to provide training to the students on Argus safety features, its role in fulfilling the pharmaceutical industry's toughest regulatory challenges, how it supports drug safety business processes from an easy to understand user interface. Thorough case processing and discussions will allow students to gain skills regarding handling different types of cases, case processing in the software, and the high, highest possible quality standards to support accurate detection and analysis of drug safety signals. So there's a lot of things that you can actually use this Oracle application. It's not just for the daily uh, operational task of drug safety processing. It helps to uh, filter cases, uh, line listings, submissions. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, utilization of this Oracle Argo safety application. So they will go into detail about that. The next one is a DSP 612, which is the internship. And this internship, again, it's a prerequisite for healthcare and allied fields. And it only occurs after the post DSP course conclusion. And this program supplements the training provided to students in the previous chapter. So this internship basically is an exposure to the students uh, to an on-the-job experience where there will be uh, live cases in a classroom setting, although it's online. You will have access to all different kinds of cases, whether it's spontaneous, whether it's literature, whether it's consumer, uh, all post-marketed in their clinical trial cases, and you will have a virtual experience of all the challenges that you would be facing if you were working at a job setting, basically. So this internship program aims to develop the student's ability to extract relevant information from varied sources to triage the assigned cases into serious, non-serious, uh, and then additional benefits of this program would be as they handle the full gamut of life industry cases provided by the faculty, a critical analysis and judgment skills. Because you'll be triaging these cases, you'll be coding these cases, you do have an opportunity to discuss within your colleagues, uh, getting their perspective, making your independent decision making, and also kind of collaborate with the faculty member. So case interpretation, because the same case can be interpreted in a different way by different people. And there's no uh, black and white in pharmacovigilance. You know, you could be right uh, regardless of your uh, assessment. So it's all about data presentation, medical writing skills, because you will be writing the medical narrative for these based on the source documents. So it's going to help to build those business communication and teamwork skills. Next slide, please. So this internship, uh, an overview of the cases that the students will be working on, as I mentioned, will be serious cases. And as I defined earlier, serious cases are defined as those that result in fatal outcome, that are life-threatening, that cause some kind of disability or prolongation of the hospitalization or hospitalization or any congenital anomaly. And also those medical significant cases where the physician may think that event is medical significant based on um, how the patient, how, um, you know, what kind of um, limited uh, the activity of the patient. So it, it can be based upon the individual physician's uh, judgment as well. At risk cases where the patient has been prescribed medication for an unapproved indication. So anytime a patient takes a medication for an unapproved indication, it becomes an off label use because that indication is not in the label of the pr product. So these off-label use cases are mandated by the regulators. They want to see uh, why these patients are using these uh, products for an off-label use. Lack of efficacy cases where the prescribed indication, the disease for which the drug is prescribed does not improve. So many times the consumers may report that I took the drug and it did not work. So those cases would be lack of efficacy cases. And the FDA and the regulators want to look at these cases more closely. Also study cases, which are the clinical trial cases. So these are the cases that you will be exposed to, uh, where cases where the drugs have been prescribed for compassionate use, post-marketing, non-interventional study, uh, and all different kinds of studies. Literature cases where there are published literature articles involving company products and adverse events reported. 
invalid cases where, as I mentioned, one of the four criteria is missing, then the case becomes classified, classified into an invalid case uh, and non-serious cases, which are relatively much easier.